Welcome, Zero K fans. This is Shadow 3 with an exhibition match stream for you all. Starting with Banana Eye versus Rymark on Forgotten Crossing. We have Banana Eye on the west side of the map, and he's going to be starting Air, which is a rather not terribly unusual start for 1v1 on this map. It's a little strange. Normally, you expect vehicles, but Air isn't too out of the ordinary. Rymark, on the other hand, starting out with Metal Extractor, not going for his factory plop. Starting with Metal Extractor and Morph, an interesting choice. He definitely is... Okay, he's plopping heavy tanks, but he wants to make sure he has all that morph and metal happening as quickly as possible. Bearing in mind, of course, this is on the latest version, which does have 8 energy for the commander right at the start. 4 metal, 8 energy per commander. However, sport commanders do have a build power boost for every level. Every level they gain 2 build power regardless of modules. That is the support commander strength right now. However, I don't necessarily agree with the way Rymark did that. But playing heavy tanks, I can kind of understand. Anyway, Banana I, or should call him I, he is going immediately for Shadows. And that means Comm Snipe. And of course, Comm Snipe means that's going to be a real pain in the butt for Rymark, who just morphed his Comm and invested a lot in that. Now, Rymark, fully aware of air coming in, is he going to get a Copperhead set up? Do not see it yet. That is kind of the thing he has to go for. Now, of course, one Shadow will not Comm Snipe. Initially, it will be Mech Sniping, as we just saw. And then it will quickly become calm sniping soon after. And I just realized I actually... I apologize, I didn't set my interface properly. Okay, there we go. That's better. Now, as I was saying, you need about three or four shadows, four for a sport comm, to kill it in one go. And only one to kill any given mechs in one go. I'm a bit surprised that... Okay, I'm not surprised about the tax saw. This makes perfect sense. So Rymark investing all of his economy into the tax saw, all eight of his metal, getting a welder to the north as well to make sure that he's continuing to expand his economy. And I, on the other hand, is not actually expanding very much. He has no workers right now. No surprise, given that he is going for air factory start. But he is focusing instead on largely overdrive until he gets up to... Actually, potential overdrive. It's not overdrive quite yet. He doesn't have the energy for it. But he is getting a light vehicle factory, or will be soon enough. Rymark, on the other hand, getting back into building welders. He is not going for anything really military. He has Kodachi here. That got killed in one go by the Shadow. No surprise there. And Rymark's commander is now getting under attack. The Hacksaw is in place to deal with the Shadow, and it does so quite beautifully. However, it is going to take a little while to reload. And the second Shadow not even bothering, going instead for one of these mechs here. While going in the north, seeing what it can pick off, and it will find a mechs and it will pick it off. Bearing in mind the mechs in the main base haven't been rebuilt either, I'm guessing this welder will be doing so. Now, Banana Eye going for a vehicle switch, not surprising, because you do an air switch for the early start, and then from there, it's... From there, it is going to be... They get anti-air, and you get ground, and... Okay, apparently people are having problems with the stream. I apologize for that, although I don't understand why that would be happening. I've not been changing the online status of the stream at all. I'll look into that between games. Anyway, we do have Rymark nicely expanding to the north and to the center. Rymark is definitely getting as much of an economic lead as he can. Now, Banana, or Banana I, I believe, is getting some overdrive. Yes, he is. He is starting to get overdrive from all this grid. So I think that it's going to be... Rather interesting, because basically at this point, I is seeding map control for, well, soft map control from air, but the thing is, of course, anti-air gets in the way. And he does have cars coming up, light vehicles are going to be built, tanks are, of course, in place, and no Panthers. Kodachis are coming up. Panthers, I would expect to be built instead, but Kodachis are good too as radians, just with the, with the shadows running around, Kodachis will die far too quickly. Panthers, on the other hand, will, well, okay, they'll both die pretty quickly, so it's not like it's going to help too much. I mean, each bomber, let's see, double checking the current stats on bombers, 800 damage a piece, yes, that is enough to kill both. Actually, no, it's not. Panthers would survive one bomb, and actually would be able to hit the bombers too, so Panthers would be a better choice with the air in play. And Scorchers are coming in. Now, Scorchers versus Panthers is a bit of a weird one. Scorchers can kite Panthers pretty well. It's really a matter of who kites who. They're fairly even. So I'd imagine that it's really going to come down to micro. I've... Okay, we've seen Banana Eye play a lot before. We have seen Banana Eye play a great deal before, and it's something that... Like, we know he's a good player. So, Rymark really does have a lot to deal with here. He has a lot ahead of him in order to actually deal with this. Now, 
he did respond nicely with the anti-air, and he is not entirely sure if the hacksaw is the best option, but it is there, it works. But it's Let's see, the welder is coming down here. The welder is actually taking well, it can take a lot of punishment. So the welder's actually slightly tougher than the com no, it's not as tough as the commander, but not by much. However, Rymark, although he does have economic advantage, he is taking map control. He doesn't have anything to deal with the air at the moment, other than these hacksaws, which are not doing too much. Defenders as well being built up, but at this point, Banana, I... Well, he has an economic disadvantage. Really, he's going to come... He has to micro around these, and he's not doing that well, actually. Rymark's taking the center of the map. He's doing quite nicely here. He's managing to hold himself up toe-to-toe -to -toe pretty well against Banana Eye up to this point, who went for Commander Junior, by the way. He's not going to be morphing at all. Now... Sport Commander with 19 build power, 14 energy, that's pretty big. Now, Rymark's Commander is still a big deal. Kodachi's are being used to try to deal with Metal Extractors, and that is a good thing to do. However, it looks like... Well, actually, we saw it's the Shadow Mist, so this Kodachi will have another shot. We'll use that to take on another Metal Extractor. Rymark needs to do this. I mean, he was, he's been getting harassed a lot himself. He's been getting harassed all across the map. He was building a ton of Metal Extractors, and they were all getting destroyed. So I... Really, I really agree with this, Kodachi being used to harass. I still think a Panther would have been a better idea overall. And Reaper's being used instead. It looks like Rymark just wants to go for the kill right away. I, well, I'd be interested to see what happens here. He is trying to get a bit sloppy with his expansions, though. His welders aren't going out and rebuilding mechs as much. Not, I mean, he does have a lot of metal from Reclaim, but he is losing metal. The harassment is damaging his metal extractors. At this point, he hasn't been ahead of... Or Banana Eye that much, despite the fact that he has pretty much had map control this entire time. It's just that the bombers, well, I should say, he said ground map control, but the, the air map control has been huge on that. Giving Banana Eye just that much more time, that much more breathing space, despite the fact that he doesn't have anything on the ground. He's gonna get rid of this Caretaker too, having the production speed of this tank factory. The Goliath actually, well... Okay, it looks like priorities were a bit messed up there. However, the Goliath is... Well, well, Commander's on high priority, that's the thing, so the Goliath can only get the scraps, and that means it's going to take a little while. Admittedly, the Caretaker didn't actually... I, sh I was being disingenuous there. It didn't actually contribute half, because Rymark didn't have enough in store for that to happen, but it doesn't matter, the factory's going down, and with that, I think Rymark's chances of victory as well, that Reaper was pretty much his only hope. He was trying to go for a Reaper, and then basically just plow through Banana Eye's base, and that would have been successful for him with the fact that there is no Reaper. Morphic's commander, once again, he realized to turn the sport commander into a battle commander. He picked the wrong chassis for this sort of strategy. He might have forgotten about, or not realized about the fact that the commander economy system had changed, because for a while, of course, sport comms were the only commander option, really. But now, I'd say battle comm really would have been a better option. Just Not just the fact that he's moving forward right now, but the fact that he went to the center of the map in the first place with his commander. The fact that he focused on that really is more of a battle comm or maybe strike comm thing than it is a sport comm thing. Sport comms just don't have the health and firepower as much as battle comms would. That being said, a level 3 one is well, unusual, to say nothing else. However, at this point, the lack of a heavy tank factory is a problem. There's a well to rebuild in the caretaker, which will rebuild a factory. But it's still an issue to deal with, and these other welders doing what they can to dodge shots. Like I said, they can take a lot of punishment, so it's not the biggest deal, but Rymark falling behind an economy. 11 metal to 13 from Banana Eye. Now, a lot of that, of course, being... No, never mind. None of that being overdrive. What am I saying? I mean, some of that could be overdrive at some point, but not right now. In fact, it's just simply having an extra metal extractor. Having... Search me. Okay, actually... Yeah, because all the metal extractors in the main base have been destroyed. That's why. Rymark is entirely relying on map center metal extractors, or slightly off to the side one. So he's... His main base isn't really his main base anymore. And his caretaker probably when he gets done, Banana Eye is going to send in a couple shadows to deal with it. And... Looks like it. I mean, he's had this Avenger scouting this entire place out for all this time. So... There's really no reason why these shadows here won't have a hard... Or won't have any hard time getting rid of this. They're going to have... They're going to get rid of this caretaker, and that's going to be a lot of metal wasted. And there it goes! Caretaker gone down again, and this metal extractor being constructed. Nope, the welder. Never mind. The welder's the target. Same time, Ravager's coming along the center. It's a little bit surprising, exactly, how how much Rymark's been able to hold the center. I mean, Banana Eye's doing the right thing. He is expanding around the map. He's taking economy control, and he is making sure to keep 
Rymark basically unable to do anything. The one thing I'm concerned about, a little bit curious about more than anything, is why Banana Eye isn't... I mean, he's scouted enough enough. I think he's scouted enough to know that he could just plow through. At this point, there is... A disru well, Disruptor Bomb, which is basically just slow and damage on a D-Gun attack. So it's not... Or, wait. No, it's not a D-Gun attack. My mistake. Or, no, it is. It is. There's a... Right. So he, the commander does have a D-Gun, but it's not super powerful. I mean, really... I think it's really just a question of Banana Eye does not have a huge amount of economy yet. He simply can't build enough units to plow through. He can definitely build the units to plow through, but not enough. And at this point, Rymark is really profiting as much as he can from Reclaim as well. He's going for a jump plant. I... I think it's... Well, he, I don't think he's going for Sumo. He might be going for a jack push. I'm trying to think what he could possibly do with a jump bot factory in this situation. I mean, Archangels would get rid of the shadows no problem. One or two of those. Then after that, I mean, Scuttle might help. At this point, Banana Eye's commander is really his main economy focus. He doesn't have any masons out, so if his commander goes, he's going to be able... He's not going to have much in the way of constructors for a little while. However, Pyros instead... Or actually, Pyros and Jax. That's the way things are going here. Now, what this Pyro is going to be doing, I think probably continuing harassment. Maybe engaging the Ravagers directly, not sure. Probably just harassing the main base and trying to destroy everything in there. Okay, two Pyros. That's about to say one Pyro is not going to be enough for this. But he is approaching the main base. He wants to go in there. Now, bear in mind that Pyros do not have enough health to survive one shot from the shadows. They would have to jump to dodge. That's going to be a lot of micro there. Jack's on the other hand, are no, nope, 5,000 health. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of bombers to kill a Jack. However, Pyro's actually nice dodge jobs. However, out of jump energy though, and down they go. Ah, valiant effort. Set one of the shadows on fire, but... And actually, that's a really good thing to do, because that that buys a little bit of extra time, because it takes longer for the planes to reload, but not by much. That fire did not last long enough for it to make the biggest difference. Jax, however, will be able to tank that damage without issue. And they are going straight for the Ravagers. Ravagers, however, going around the back to get rid of these metal extractors, continuing to keep Rymark down, and Banana Eye now has a lot of map control. He has the north, he has the south. He's just closing in from the center. Rymark, even though he may have had a bit of soft map control at the start, has completely lost it at this point. Going for a desperation push with his commander, and... That's pretty much all he has at this point. I mean, he has these jacks, sure, but not a lot of economy backing them up. Shadow's coming in to try to snipe, and they are trying to snipe the commander. They will be able to do so. One more shot, and... Oh, no, not quite. The commander does just barely survive. One more shot on top of this, though, will finish it off. And then after that, I think Rymark will throw in the towel. He does have a lot of reclaim to try to push these jacks out a bit faster, though. Still... Can't get rid of the air units that way, and there's nothing assaulting the base, or more importantly, assaulting the economy around the periphery. There's nothing that's harassing out Banana Eye, so his economy is just going out of control. There's nothing that Rymer can do about it. He's trying to deal with the air as best he can, getting a hacksaw up in the center of the map. Admittedly, that was successful earlier, but still kind of problematic. Puppies doing what they can against the Ravagers, but the Jacks are the real force here. There weren't enough puppies up to really matter. Okay, Wolverines, I have not seen much of either. Mine laying artillery, yeah, you don't see that much. It's useful, I suppose, but it's not really that useful. No, no one really uses them. And it's not entirely surprising why, because they are kind of hard to use. And dominate, okay. Rymark's gonna try to get rid of this, but I think he's got no, ch well, you know what? No, he's got no chance. That Jack, if the Dominatrix turns around to get rid of that, to take over that Jack, that Jack is now belonging to Banana Eye. And that Dominatrix wins the game. Rymark throws in the towel, realizing he's really got no hope now. And that is going to be it for that game. So stay tuned. I'll have another game for you guys shortly.